What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Just Be Wise, and today we're talking about shaky footage, or at least how to fix your shaky footage in post. Now, once before, we've talked about how to get some cinematic smooth footage if you don't have a gimbal or a glide cam. And today, we're gonna go ahead and finish that up with adding how to just mm, make it even more smooth in post. So let's get it. So today, we're gonna to talk about the post-processing side of things, how to get your footage smooth. Now, I need to forewarn you, if your footage is jacked up, it's jacked up. You don't, you, like when people say, oh, I'll just fix it in post. No, bro, you don't wanna fix, or ma'am, you don't wanna fix it in post, okay? You wanna do as much as you can right in camera and then help it along the way in post. You dig? So, Right now, I don't have access to any shaky footage because I, I, I haven't shot anything where I have shaky footage. That sounds like I'm great and I just don't have shaky footage. That's not what it is. I just didn't recently shoot anything that I can use for the purpose of this video. So we got my boy Soup here and he's gonna help us out. So let's go get some shaky footage. Now that me and Superman have taken way too long to get this shaky footage, we got it. And now let's go ahead and get ready to fix the post. So let's pop open Premiere and get into it. So here's the footage that we have. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what this footage looks like right now. Okay, now that's some pretty shaky footage. Now what we're gonna do is use a technique. We're gonna slow down our footage so that's step number one. So you wanna make sure when you're in camera that whatever you're shooting, you shoot it in a higher frame rate so that you can slow it down. Whether that's 60 frames, 120 frames, 240, whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you shoot it at a high frame rate so that when you get it into post, the first step, we're gonna slow down the footage and that's gonna to help to minimize your shake right off the bat. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There's a couple of different ways that I typically do slow motion. Um, Right now we're gonna do the easiest way for sake of time, mostly because my girls are in bed and I can't be this loud for this long. As you can tell, I'm probably kind of whispering a little bit, but if I wake them up, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So we're just gonna do the quick way right now. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a super, super, hmm, super simple and easy technique. We're just gonna go ahead, select our clip, we're going to right click on our clip and we're going to come right here to speed and duration. I shot this footage in 60 frames per second. So I'm editing on a 24 frame timeline, which means I can go as slow as 40%. Bam. Now let's take a look at our footage now. Still, oh yeah, still a little too shaky here. There's a couple like crazy movements there. Okay, so now we've slowed down our footage. It's still a little too shaky for us. So we wanna make sure that we can minimize that shake even a little bit more if we can. So now we're gonna use an effect that's already in Premiere called Warp Stabilizer. So let's go ahead and stabilize this bad boy. Boom, bam, blim, and we out of here. Let's do it. Okay, so let's go back again. Click on our clip. We're gonna come over here, go to effects. Let's come in here. I was already using it, obviously. So we got warp, and we're just gonna drag and drop the warp stabilizer right here on our clip. Bam, what, what the? Um. Okay. So you can't use warp stabilizer and speed on the same clip, so. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let's. Let's fix this problem too. Okay, so we're gonna control Z. So we can't put this effect on top of a clip that has a speed effect already been placed. So what we're gonna do is nest this clip, which 
Nesting is essentially like if you use After Effects, it's like doing a pre-composition. Pretty much we're just gonna bake in the effects that we already placed in like a, a nice little nested nuzzle. You know, we're just gonna bam, crush them things in together so that we can then start on a new clean slate. So let's go ahead. We're gonna right click again. And if you come right here, you can just hit nest. Also, the shortcut is in, so you can do either or nested. All right, now we're just gonna name this nested clip Smooth Superman. Okay. All right, now we're still gonna come, we're gonna come back, select our clip. We're just gonna drag and drop the warp stabilizer. Bam, all right. This is good news. It's analyzing. That's what you want to see. So now it's going to look at every frame and it's going to start to do its magic. All right. So once this is done, we'll be able to take another look. All right. So everything's done. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like. smoother to me but let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to see what the first clip looks like compared to what this clip looks like and that's it guys that's all you need so the main thing that I want you guys to walk away from here learning is that you know you can do some different effects nest them together and then you can do additional effects on top so that you don't just feel like you run into a wall it's like oh this is not something i can do nah that's super easy to fix go ahead and nest them things in all right and pretty much that's all i got for you guys today so i gave you some tools to create and i go be great peace oh also um part of the fun that me and superman were having uh it's right now so go i'm gonna show you why it took me so long to come back because as you can see it's nighttime early or daytime i'm talking too much already go superman got something to show you